Ecuador. So we were driving through on the Ruta de Spondulus and we saw how blue the water was here and the sun came out and the beach looked fantastic and not ready to head back to the Andes. So we're spending at least one night here. We found a really great spot to stay, super clean, a block away from the beach, and we got a really good deal. So I am so looking forward to discovering Puerto Cayo. It's windy, so nice. Cabanas. The restaurants own them. They're right in front of the restaurants and they're $10 for the day. We arrived after lunch so they said we could have it for five. We tried to negotiate down even more because Andreas has been good with that in other cities but they weren't having it. It was like five dollars. Didn't matter who you asked so I think they're stuck on the price. But um, Almuerzo here is actually a pretty good deal. It's four dollars right on the beach and if you're like me and you only want the second then it's only $2.50. So the place we're getting it at, it was uh, shrimp soup to start and then I could get uh, like a fish plate. So I got grilled fish for $2.50. And then also the beer here is actually a surprisingly good deal. This is $1.50 in a convenience store. And the place we got it only charged us $2. Whereas in most restaurants, especially on the beach, will charge you $2.50, $3. So, spent more than we wanted on the cabana but spent less than we thought we would on the food and drink so I think overall it will work out. All right one hour in and so far I am loving Puerto Cayo like not a lot of people here it's a Friday seems to be only locals on the beach like lots of space, the sun, the water is beautiful. Not the most beautiful beach in Ecuador, but the views here are gorgeous. And so it's not that white soft sand, it's pretty rocky, but it's still fantastic. All right, two o'clock, so we made it just under the buzzer for almuerzo. Uh, the starter today was a shrimp soup and then you could have fish a number of different ways. I wanted to get it grilled. It comes with patacones. <laughs> I always call them tostones. Patacones, which are uh, boiled, mashed, fried plantains, green plantains. Also some rice, some incurtido or pickled salad. And then of course you have a number of different condiments including house-made ahi which is essential. Almuerzo here was $4. I was not feeling like a soup and then a whole meal because it's kind of hot out here. So I asked just for the main plate and so it was only $2.50. $2.50 for all of this food on the beach and a drink, which is, mm, it's like a, an orangeade. Not real orange juice, I don't think. Naranjada. Yeah, naranjada, naranjada. So it's like an orange aid, although that's pretty close to being real juice. Let's try the fish. Mmm, oh god. Mm. Eating fresh fish, cooked to order, on the beach, sunny day, good company. Like, you cannot beat this. I just put way too much ahi on my fish. Now let's try it again with a little bit of ahi. This day cannot get any better. This is so good. I'm having such a good day. Not like I have bad days. This week I saw so many beaches, but I don't know. I think just the surprise of driving in on a cloudy day and then the sun came out and we saw this water. Found a great place to stay. It's just days like this are just, I don't know, just so great. I love this place. There was this vendor coming by. 
just honking a horn or something. So we're like, what's this guy selling? He's selling coco helados, which is coconut ice cream. Mm. It melts, so they put it in a cup. Mm. Oh my god, this is so good. How much was this? A dollar. Mm. This was a dollar worth every penny. So good. Mm. This feels like vacation today. I don't know what I'm vacationing from, but just like being in the sun. I went in the water. The water's pretty rough and it was pretty rocky until you get to the smooth part where you walk out into the ocean. But the water was actually quite, quite warm. Good morning. So yesterday, after all that sun, the good food, a couple beer, I fell asleep at 6 p.m. and I woke up at 6 a.m. Fantastic 12 hour sleep, but we did miss out on Puerto Cayo at night, which is kind of sad, but I don't know there was a lot going on. So maybe I didn't really miss out on very much. Up this morning to have breakfast at the beach, it's a little bit cloudy out, which is kind of sad, but I have a feeling mornings are cloudy, afternoons are nicer. So this is a market. There are a couple of these tracks. There is no market in town, so the market comes here. And the guys just deliver. Breakfast at Cabana Vanessa, I really just wanted soup for breakfast. This is a fish soup called Sudado, and it is just a fresh fish. It's a tomato base. Mm. Oh, that broth is so, so good. Mm. I'm going to put a little bit of lime in it. Oh man, this is good. I don't know why we don't have soup for breakfast in my culture. Canada, come on. We need to get with it because soup for breakfast is just super, super light. Now, if you want something a little heartier, she's also, we've got a balone. So I have eaten this many times over the last couple weeks and I featured it in a lot of my videos. But again, balone is green plantain that is first boiled and then it's mashed into almost like a dough, and then it's mixed with cheese, and it's um, pan fried or deep fried. You can get bologna with different things in the middle. It almost always has cheese, but I think a couple days ago I had it with chicharron or fried pork skin. Just some salty fresh cheese. Oh. Mmm, okay. Not all balloons stays the same. I actually think the bulk of the work is understanding how long to boil it and then how much to mash it. I've had some coarse, like rustic balloons, but I actually do prefer ones like this where they really make it into like a dough and then so when they fry it, it's like crispy here on the outside and then the inside is just really creamy. Mm. This is really good. I should mention, breakfast here was pretty standard. We checked out a couple of places. I did not just want like a bologna and eggs. I really wanted soup. I either wanted biche or sudado. And so most of the breakfast places around here, if you're gonna get it, it's $4 and includes coffee, which is a steal. Like fish soup, a giant bologna, that's a really good deal. And will keep us full definitely until lunch. Mm. Coffee is instant, but that's pretty standard for around here. When it's not instant, it's a surprise. I'm actually starting to learn to like it. Maybe not like it. I'm actually starting to not hate it. It's not bad, it's not bad. Sudado is absolutely one of my favorite soups. I first had it in Peru, Northern Peru in 2011 and it's just stayed with me. It's 10 years and I still think about that soup. Mm. This is so good. 
I'm, it definitely lives up to my memory of having it in Peru. Mm.